You know what time it is. Tin fish time. It's time to get into the fish sack and get a new tin out. Oh, you know it's so fishy in here. All right, I'm gonna bust into this bad boy. Let's see. Close the ice. Pray to the fish gods. Oh, almost did it. Until it's time to get the fishy surprise. Don't open me eyes till it's time to get the fishy surprise. <sighs> oh, another scout canning. Whoa. Nice. Tin shellfish. Scout canning. Atlantic lobster. Let's get into it. Okay, this is going to be awesome. We got scout canning. Atlantic Canadian Lobster. Probably good Canada, nice, right? English en France. Maybe it's uh, Prince Edward Island, right? The P-I-E, P-E-I, sorry. And then uh, nutritional facts there. Ocean stewardship, all that good stuff, 1% of the planet. Let's get into this bad boy. See, it's got lobsters on the inside. Oh yeah, it does. Lobsters on the inside instead of fish. Again, here's perfect pairings. A little stuff about their protecting the oceans. All right. I'm excited. Um, that last one we did was a scout canning product. Super delicious. Um, I've never, ever, 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 ever had canned lobster. Um, I used to not be a big fan of lobster. And then one time when I was a little kid, for some reason, that's what I wanted for my birthday. So my mom took me to Red Lobster, which is not a good experience for your first time having lobster. And I did not like it. And I didn't have lobster again until I was probably in my 20s. But, oh boy. Look at that. That looks like a delicious lobster meats in the tangy sauce. Let me see what this sauce is going to say. All right, we got, it is Atlantic Lobster. I don't know if I can, I can zoom in on that. Atlantic Lobster with clawed knuckle meat and lemon infused olive oil. I wonder where this color's coming from, maybe just from the lobster? Well, let's give it a snifferino. Okay, this is very fishy. It's um, bordering on the dry seafood smell, which is not my favorite. Uh, but let's give it a try. Get in here and get some nice mates. Hmm. Super moist. Um, definitely more of a fishy taste than some of the other fish, canned fish we've had. Um, not terrible. I would say, as far as lobster goes, I'd give this like maybe a six, five and a half. Um, but it definitely, for all of the ones we've had that have some kind of flavor added to them, um, you definitely taste the lemon in this one. So, kudos for that. Um, it actually has like a little brightness into that rich lobster flavor, which is a nice touch, obviously. Lemon and seafood, big combination. We got some wasas again, because these crackers are bomb. And I think I'm gonna pick the perfect hot sauce for this. It's gonna be Melinda's Mexican Picante Salsa. So this one's supposed to be zesty, it's got a two, Flame heat rating, perfect blend of chili and spices that you won't put down. This is perfect for spicy cocktails, which give me the idea of like cocktails, like a little seafood action. So let's grab that guy and put it on some of this. All right, here we go. 
This is the Melinda's Mexicana. So it's got a really nice color to it. You can't really see in the bottle. You can kind of see outside there. Mm, the smell is like, um, seems like it's kind of their version of like Tapatio. So, and I, I love me some Tapatio. When I asked about what the strangest thing on your nightstand is, is uh, sometimes you get a little bottle of Tapatio there, you know? Because those late night snacks deserve a little heat, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so you get a little lobster meat there. And, oh, it's... This lighting is not great, just sitting on the porch, natural lighting. A little, oh yeah, that's that good stuff right there. Tasty, tasty. All right, let's get into it. Mmm. That's good. The, um, this Mexicana has a good citrusy vibe to it. So it's really bright. It's not hot. I definitely wouldn't say this is a two flamer. It's definitely a one flamer, but uh, it pairs nicely with the lobster. It kicks up that lemon flavor that the lobster already has. It really goes nicely with that delicate lobster rest. This is lobster is definitely the moistest, moistest, moistest fish that I've had in a tin so far. Um, it eats really tender, still definitely holds a lot of moisture and really good lobster flavor. Delicious. I think it would be super good. Maybe like make some mini lobster tacos or like a mini lobster roll with just like a really light, like a light aioli on it. Just so you're not totally hiding the lobster flavor because this is super delicate um like it goes away pretty quickly you don't want to cover it up too much oh that crunch that was a little bit of shell so be careful when you eat canned things you, you know just make sure to eat it slowly and don't hoof it down you might get a shell in the throat but really does pair nicely with this linda's mexicana and I think it's a very versatile thing. It's not overpowering, so there's some cool cold applications you can do. I've also seen people um, heat this up in the can. Just put this straight on a flame and boil it up and then put it down. I've also seen um, take out the meat, take the oil that's in here, and froth it up with one of those little, you know, little aerating whisks that people usually use for, like, coffee and stuff, and make it just kind of... Give it a little emulsification in its own sense with the oils and the juices that are there so it gets a little thicker the sauce that's in there this guy just kind of kind of zhuzh it up and then pour it back on and a lot of people digging this with potato chips so again flavor is where you find it you know what i'm saying if it tastes good to you eat it you know don't let anybody tell you don't taste good don't yuck anybody's yum you know what i'm saying and Get in on some of this scout canning lobster. <laughs>